If we are going to condemn as we must the war crimes of Putin, we must simultaneously condemn all war crimes. For you not to simultaneously call for an investigation into the ongoing war crimes and crimes against humanity being committed by the apartheid state of Israel against the Palestinian people, I really have to wonder about the consistency of the ethics of EU foreign policy. It is utterly, utterly unconscionable that we can say on the one hand, we must and we must investigate the war crimes and atrocities of Vladimir Putin and remain silent, as you did when you spoke in June in Israel beside the Israeli Prime Minister, Naftali Bennett, and did not say a word, not a word, after we've had two devastating reports by Amnesty International, by Human Rights Watch, of 70 years of ongoing crimes against humanity, ethnic cleansing, apartheid, the siege of Gaza, a 15-year-long criminal action. Do we talk about investigating the war crimes of Israel? No. Do we sanction Israel for these crimes as we've sanctioned Russia? No. Instead, we continue to give them favoured trade status, import huge amounts of gas from Israel, deepen the relations and uh, engage in considerable uh, military and defence trade with the state that is doing this uh, to the Palestinians. I also find it remarkable when we say we must uh, break our dependency on Russian uh, fossil fuels and oil, that at the very same time we increase our uh, imports of Saudi uh, oil. Ironically, the Saudi Arabia this year has doubled its imports of Russian oil and is effectively laundering Russian oil, but we are now importing more from the Saudi dictatorship, one of the most brutal dictatorships in the world, that just like Vladimir Putin, has engaged in a 15-year-long war against the people of Yemen that has claimed the lives of tens of thousands of people. And your leading European states continue to arm that regime. Indeed, you yourself, in 2015, went over and signed a defence arrangement with Saudi Arabia when you were Minister for Defence uh, in Germany. If we are going to condemn, as we must, the war crimes of Putin, we must simultaneously co condemn all war crimes, all crimes against humanity, when, even when they are committed by people that the European Union perceives as allies like Israel or Saudi Arabia or those that arm and uh, support them.